So I'm actually editing this video right now. I'm gonna let you guys know beforehand, there's multiple crazy fish catches in here. I mean, just insane fish catches. So, and they're spread out throughout the whole video. So make sure you guys watch this thing all the way through so you don't miss one of the crazy moments. Go we inside the. I got gotcha. you. Like no. <laughs> I've never had a fish hit a frog that hard inside of a pipe. It's early in the morning. We're gonna be trying to get our little top water bite on. I have a pop and pick on right here, and then I have a fluke for a little subtle approach. We're gonna be starting off with the top water today to see if we can catch some big bass on frogs. Let's get it started. But hold up. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button, and also be sure to hit the like button and also comment below. Now let's go ahead, get this started. Oh my gosh. God. When it hit the water. Oh my gosh. That was insane. Oh my gosh. He ain't even a two pounder. And he choked that sucker. I mean, you talk about choking a frog. I landed over the branch and when the frog hit the water, he just poof, tanked that sucker all the way in the back of his throat. Gosh, this guy's hyper too, he's pissed. I woke him up this morning. Look at that, nothing big, but solid about pound and a half. That's awesome to start off the day just like that. I just hit the other side. I was on the grass. Yeah, this is a long cast. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, did he cream that thing? Look at it in the back of his throat. Oh, his head is huge. Let me tell you, this fish looked ginormous when it creamed that frog right there. But look at it in the back of his throat. He went complete airborne for it. Not quite a three pounder, but you know, he's a solid two and a half. I'll give him that one. He's not fat enough to be that three pounder. I thought this fish was like five pounds, the way he looked. They seem to trick you and make themselves look huge when they jump out of the water. I can promise you, solid two and a half pounder, two and three quarters max. But with that little tummy right there, I think about two and a half. So just got to the new pond. I have a frog on as usual, and then I did tie a Ned rig on. I know it's on a bait caster. That's usually what I wouldn't do, but I don't have a spinning rod rigged up. So that's what we're gonna be going with. We got some pads right in front of us and i'm hoping we can get on a little good old frog bite in here i haven't tried a frog like i actually like came out here early and tried a frog in the pad so i really don't know what to expect let's see if we can catch something let's see if we can get some activity uh-oh what do we have here Old copperoo. How you doing, ma'am? They put the gate back too far, I 
just because yeah here. did they just put that out yeah they did in yeah. there yeah because i came here you know a couple months ago i didn't see it but i just came back a second ago and i was like oh there's no fish i know there's too i got alligators. too many alligators we've got and 200 out there 200 yeah gosh that's crazy it's liability and yeah i got gotcha. you we don't want to be like florida no <laughs> i get it i completely understand but i'll get out of your way yeah, it's not a big there. yeah of course yeah, I was. Yes, ma'am. What, what is it? Like largemouth or something? Yeah, there's some largemouth in here. Um, I haven't seen anything big. Yeah, is this what you do for a living, dude? Yes, ma'am, I do. Wow. I do a bunch nice. of little filming and stuff for fishing companies. But there's a lot of people very that blessed. like to talk to you that work with me. They went out deep sea over last weekend. And really? They were laughing about each other. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I. I I don't get to go out and play at all. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's fun right now. It's just so hot. It is. But if you get out about this time, you know, a little earlier, it's fine. But once you hit that, you know, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, when it starts warming up to like 90, that's when it gets a little. I'd be, I'd be like at the bottom down there somewhere, like, leave me alone. It's too hot. Yeah, I feel that. But <laughs> All right, you have a good one. Yes, ma'am. Well, we just got kicked out we'll talk about it well boys we just got kicked out of this place so i found this place recently maybe about you know two months ago um there wasn't any signs for like trespassing and right when i came this morning they literally just put up a gate that says no trespassing and i wasn't even going to walk past it you know i was staying outside of it and she was really nice you know really kind lady that's how like the handle situations you know you're respectful to them they're respectful to you and at the end of the day you know you have a good conversation you both get on with your days that's how stuff should go you know respect other people and hopefully they're going to respect you back i know some of you guys saw the video on lojo and norm's channel that was not the right way to handle the situation and uh, i know that on both ends but that lady was very respectful very nice i was very respectful and very nice back at her supposedly it's because of alligators because it's a liability i get that 100 percent i could totally see pond owners doing that now putting alligators in ponds because that is a good reason but that, that, that is a liability right there i can tell you that if somebody falls in the water gets chomped by an alligator Woo, that's nothing to play around with that's that's why i understand that's why i respect you know these people because i get that man if somebody falls in there and something happens or an alligator ends up biting them it is not looking good for them and i completely understand that decision um i have a pond in mind that we haven't hit in about maybe three months four months we're gonna go give it a try oh it's not the safest but Sometimes in life, you know, you want to catch fish. So you got to do some crazy stuff. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's a football. Holy cow, hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up, wait a minute. Hold the flip up. I just freaking whacked a slaunch, right? Like I first cast with a fluke, freaking giant. On a pond I've never been to. Are you freaking kidding me? Like, are you being serious right now? I don't know what to say about that. This is all I need to know about this spot, first of all. That's all I need to know right there. Nothing else. This is all I need. Holy mother of pearl, guys. I just caught a freaking three pounder. He's bleeding a little bit for no reason. I had him hooked in the lip. I caught him right by these pipes right here. We're gonna get a quick wait on this guy and then get back in here. I wanna release this fish, first of all. He's a three pounder. But just to show you guys, since you guys love the weights, I cannot believe that. Zeroed out. Oh my gosh. Three pounds, one ounce. Well, all I gotta say, I don't even know what I gotta say. We're just gonna toss my scale right here. We're gonna come down here and that is a chunkiest fish i cannot believe that right there oh man thank you buddy for biting you're a freaking legend holy flipping shmokaroos i'm excited you guys see you guys see what i see right here first cast on the edge of it pow three pounder you see that you see that you see that it's about to go down boys There he is. Oh 
Okay, not what we're really looking for, but with how tough it is, knowing that it's summertime, guess what? I'll take you, buddy. On the old Ned, on the old little Sanko. All right, Jimmy, thanks for biting. Usually fish your size don't mean much, but today, everyone counts. Oh, yeah, he's right there. Well, that's a better one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, let's go. Oh, let's go. I cast it in the pipe and just drug it right out and he grabbed it. It's like a two pounder. Oh yeah, let's go. This is a few seconds after last. Let's go. Old Ned Rig getting it done. He's not even two pounds. He has a two pound head. Skinny guy. If he had a little more weight on him. In fact, you know what? We haven't weighed a fish today. I guess we can weigh this guy. Man, that's not a bad one. Look how long he is. He just needs a little belly on him. One pound, 10 ounces. Or one pound, nine ounces. Ooh, he's bigger than I thought. One pound, 12 ounces. So he's a pound and three quarters. There we go. Beautiful bass. Let's get him back. Oh, that was sweet right there. Let's do it again. Maybe this Ned Rig's gonna get it done. You know, bluebird skies right now, zero to no wind. I mean, there's like a tiny ripple, like a tiny little breeze. And it's summertime. So a finesse bait like this can really get the job done. And I got another one. Yep. They are reloading on this pipe, let me tell you. They're coming up and feeding right here. There's a bunch of bait right in front, in front of this pipe. Let me tell you too, these guys are the ones you gotta be careful with. They'll get you hooked. God, these guys are small. But I really don't mind catching them this time. All right, we made it to another pond. It's a little shade line, there's a pipe right here. Top water frog. I really want another frog bite, man. Here we go, we inside the... Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Do you guys just believe this? Holy crap, I'm shaking. He destroyed it so hard inside of that pipe. I've never seen a fish aggressively attack a frog like that. My, look at me shaking. And he choked it too. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. I'm not dropping you in the water. We're gonna wait on your butt. Whew. Look at that beauty right there. I don't think he, I don't know if he's, he's, he's four max. He's easy three and three quarters though. I don't know if he's gonna hit that four. Watch, he's gonna be over four. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm shaking. That was an easy three and three quarters though. Zeroed out, that was the craziest fish catch of the year. Craziest fish catch, I swear. Oh my gosh, do it to me, come on. Oh, three pounds, 15 ounces, one ounce short from a four pounder. Oh, I knew he was gonna be close. Four max is what I said. And that is a freaking slunch. I've never had a fish hit a frog that hard inside of a pipe. That that was unbelievable. There that beast goes. Boom, baby. <laughs> I can't believe that, guys. You better smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, because I don't know where you can get some footage like that. Sorry, girl, I gotta.